Hello and welcome, Dirty William here, back with another Dungeons & Dragons Online Let's Play series. This time we're going to go for a rogue. Specifically, we're going to go for a repeater rogue. I spent about three hours off and on today trying to come up with a build that I could do for free to play, and I kind of cobbled together ideas from other places. I don't have access to uh, Artificer, or else I would just splash two arty, and that would help out quite a bit with feats and some other things, um, but I, I don't have access to that. I also don't have access to Harper, which gives some benefits uh, to intelligence and other things, so I'm kind of working with what I have, and I can't really find a uh, straight up, this is a repeater build, um, type of, of thing for free to play 28 point build so I'm gonna have to go for Dro and the reason I have to go for Dro is because this gives me some bumps to my dexterity and intelligence um, I do have a hit to my constitution uh, but I also get some to my charisma for the UMD skill but uh, the main things are I need to hit 19 dexterity by level 15 give or take um, I think is what it is Yes, level 15, so that I can get improved precise shot. So I'm taking, it's not going to be maxing out intelligence, which is very disappointing. But on a first life character, this is all I can do. So there are lots of better builds out there. Search the forums for more gooder stuff if you have access to Artificer, or if you have access to Tomes, or you have access to other things that I don't. So Dro is way to go. Um, we are going to customize Dro, and uh, why not be a female, just because. So, starting statistics are going to be uh, 8 for strength. Dexterity we're going to raise to 17. There we go. Constitution we're going to put at 14. Intelligence is going to be 18. Uh, wisdom 8 and Charisma 10. So our primary stats right here are going to be Dexterity for improved um, precise shot later on. Constitution for hit points. And Intelligence because our Intelligence will improve and give us better damage. Uh, because of the mechanic tree. Now, if you have access to tomes, feel free to drop this dexterity down and put some points into intelligence. For example, if you have a uh, plus four tome, you can go down to 15 dexterity and raise this up to 19. I don't have access to a tome on a first life character, so kind of disappointing, but there you are. So, starting abilities. Strength 8, Dexterity 17, Constitution 14, Intelligence 18, Wisdom 8, and Charisma 10. And we go to next, and we have a crap ton an absolute crap ton of skill points, and this is going to cause problems later on because there are so many skill points. Uh, first, what I want to do is put one little point into Tumble, there. I want to max out UMD. I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm going to hit Balance, Disable Device, Haggle, putting four points into those. I'm going to put three points into Jump. Uh, let's see, we're going to go four points for Hide. Move Silently. Max out our Open Lock. Max out, our, max out our search spot. So we have eight points to spend. I do want to put some into concentration because later on I would like to see if I have the UMD for heal scrolls and other scrolls. So that is a, a thing to do. Uh, so we have four points left. Now, in the character planner that I used, I did point, put some points into swim um, just because. But I'm not sure if that would be the best to do, because Swim is very, very useless, I guess. Uh, but there's nothing else really to put a lot of points into, honestly. Um, <clears throat> an underwater action item or a water breathing item, it's going to take longer to swim, but that's not really big a big deal. Uh, now, there are a few things that you can use Bluff and Diplomacy for, so I think what I'm going to do... Uh, just for the sake of doing this, is I'm going to split these points up into Bluff and Diplo uh, for right now. And as the leveling process continues, then we'll see how many points we have after I max out my main trap skills and then go back and see what we can do. Uh, so we're going to next. And the first feat that we're going to take is Point Blank Shot, which is all alphabetical mobilized. So we take Point Blank Shot. What does this do? Gain a plus one bonus to hit with ranged attacks within 15 meters, and your ranged weapons deal plus one W. Uh, so that's good, and that's what we're going to take. Most people do take that on the other builds that I saw. So we go to next, and everything looks fine, and we're going to go to next again. And uh, now I'm going to customize this. Uh, first, the alignment is going to be neutral, to true neutral, so that I can not take uh, some of the alignment based damage in the mid to high levels. Uh, let's see if we can just randomize this a bit. Not really going for a particular style. All 
All right, when we load up here, we're going to be on the airship, uh, the uh, Heart of Wind, I think it is. Put that up there real quick. Uh, let me take just a second to get all of my hot bars and things in order. All right, so I've got my hot bars all set up and things like that the way they are going to be, at least for now. Uh, I want to start at level four. Uh, airship travel hurts my stomach. I started my adventuring career as a rogue. I continued on to level two as a rogue, because it's going to be a full pure 20 rogue. A uh, bunch of skill points. So what we're going to do first, we're going to hit our uh, trap skills first. So disable device, open lock, search spot, and UMD. Now, we have seven other points to put things into, which is terrific. So we're going to go for balance and haggle. Um, I do want to put some into concentration. At least one point there. So we have four, four points left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for bluff and diplomacy. Let's see if we've got everything here we need. I think so, and hide and move silently might not do, be too bad, actually. So those are contenders, anything else on here? No. So I think hide and move silently, we'll go for that, for this level. And we get evasion, since we have uh, our second level of rogue now. And what do we get? Eight hit points, bad from plus one, plus zero to plus one, reflex from plus two to plus three, all of our skills, and we finish. Now we're going to go again, a specialist, a rogue, do the same thing we did before. Disable device, scroll, 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 open lock, search and spot, UMD, concentration for later, and now we have six points. We can go for balance, bluff, diplo, a little bit into haggle. And now we have two points left. So let's go ahead and put those. I'm thinking maybe jump might not be a bad thing to do um, until I find some kind of clicky or I can, I can, I know I can use scrolls for five minutes of jump and that gives me a plus 10. So that might be useful as well, getting some jump so we can hop around and stuff. Maybe that's better than the uh, bluff and diplo. I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, let's try to get jump as high as we can, I guess, for right now. Uh, now we're going to pick a feat, and I'm going to pick... Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, heavy repeater? Repeating heavy crossbow? Somewhere? Martial weapon proficiency. Don't want that. There we go. Repeating heavy crossbow. Why? So that we can attack with a crossbow. Now, later on, as we level, uh, level six, we will be able to take an enhancement that gives us proficiency with light crossbows, light repeating crossbows. Um, at level 12, we will get a chance to put points into an enhancement that will allow us to use heavy repeating crossbows. For, so for right now I'm using this, later on I'm going to switch to insightful reflexes at level 12, switch that feed out, and that is very easy to do. You just talk to Fred and you'll be able to do that. So repeating heavy crossbow, uh, get some class feats, we have 8 hit points, bad from 1 to 2, fort from 0 to 1, will save from 0 to 1, trap sense, sneak attack. Uh, all of our goodies and also our feet that we chose, which is repeating heavy crossbow, and we finish. Alrighty. Last level, at least as far as this, we're going to go for, again, Rogue. We're going to level up our dexterity, and the reason being, our dexterity starts off at 17. We need to get to 19 before level 15 so that we are able to take improved precise shots. So that's the reason I had to set my dexterity so high in the very beginning. I do not have any tomes uh, to use on this character. Tomes work, but enhancements do not. So remember that whenever you're building something like this, look at the feet and, and find out what kind of prerequisites they have. So dexterity is going to go up a notch. Uh, we'll do that for levels four and for level eight, and then the uh, points for levels 12, 16, and 20 will put into intelligence. If you look down in the description of this video, you will see all the things and stuff and junk uh, that uh, detail the build and kind of what I, I plan on in the future. So, ability raise, dexterity.
and we go to next. And we're going to go for balance, disable device, haggle, uh, open lock, search, spot, UMD, concentration, and we have four points left. So let's go ahead and put some points into jump. Put two points into jump there. And now we can also put some points into hide and move silently, uh, or we can do the bluff and diplo. I'm honestly not sure what is best right now. Um, I'm not really planning on playing this character as a sneaky sneakerson, uh, but the bluff and diplo might be useful, so we'll go ahead and put some points into that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And we go to next. So what do we get? Eight hit points, a bab increase from two to three, reflux from three to four. Uh, we raised our dexterity by one, so it is now 18. We have uncanny dodge and trap making and all of our skills, and we finish. And now we can spend our, some of our action points. Now, the main thing, uh, the reason I started off at level four also is to, I want to try to get as much favor as I can on this character because I need some packs. I don't have very many packs. Um, funny story, I actually TR'd the... Dirty William character, which was the uh, Pale Master in uh, series number two. I TR'd that to a bard, and I've gotten all the way up to like level 11. I've made all the videos and stuff, but I can't get any further because I don't really sp want to spend the time to grind things out, running the same quest or quests over and over again. So this is why I made this character. I want to get some turbine points so that I can buy a pack for those levels, and you'll be seeing that series later on. So for right now, we're going to go into our enhancements. I want to put some into our mechanic tree first. So we're going to take the first core. This gives stuff. Um, gives our prof guest proficiency with great crossbows, which I don't really plan on using that much. So it depends on what I find, really. Uh, now this character is on the same server that uh, my other characters are on, so I can always use hand-me-downs. Uh, that's part of the process of whenever you make a new character, think about some things that you might have stashed away on another character, things you can use. Um, money, platinum, is especially useful. You can transfer that on the same server and use that. Uh, so enhancements, we're going to take that first core, and then we are going to take sharpshooter here. We're going to take mechanics, one, two, and three. We are going to take the Tangle Foot because that's just a, a it's a prerequisite basically to go all the way up through here to some better things. Uh, we'll go ahead and take at tier two. We'll take that, uh, the, the other Arbalester uh, or Sharpshooter rather. Uh, then we're going to take uh, let's see improved traps. Where is that? There we go. Uh, plus one to the save DCs of chemical traps. Uh, I can actually make traps and put them down and blow people up and stuff. Another option is to go into Wand and Scroll Mastery. Now this might be better if you are planning on using UMD. I'm following the build right now because I can always reset this. And I probably will eventually reset that. Uh, so we're going to take three points into that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to take out a point there. And at tier three... I'm going to put in a point here, because I will get a little bit better damage with my, my bows. So that's all of our action points spent. We're going to accept and close. And we're done with her, so now all we have to do is go over and talk to this guy. This guy will give you rogue gear. Now, none of this gear is going to be useful for a repeater type of rogue. Uh, let's see what we get. We get boots of nimbleness, plus one jump and tumble. We get the Goggles of Insight, gives us a plus one competence bonus to our attack rolls. We get Black Widow Bracers, gives us a plus four armor bonus and a colorless slot. That I'm going to get rid of and probably use the Axe Bane for the Porthos. Nimble Brooch uh, gives us a plus one dex, a plus one resistance, and as part of the Nimble Hand set. The other part of that set is Nimble Grasp. It gives us a plus three to tumble, 5% striding, and when both pieces are worn, we get a plus one to hit and plus two damage to sneak attacks. We have the Rugged Belt, which gives us five more hit points. Protection plus one ring. We have a couple weapons here, and we also have our Starter Leather Armor. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And see how cool we look. If we do, yeah, it's not too bad looking. Not awful at all. Oh, the movement speed is so slow. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, uh, speaking of movement speed. Oop, control R. Uh, over here in Thief Acrobat, if you put a point into here and a point here, two points, I'm sorry, 1% uh, faster run speed for each of your rogue levels. I will be putting some into that because I'm sure that walking around town here is going to be a pain in the neck. All right, so we're going to go over here and talk to this guy. He is going to give us a starter weapon here. Um, great swords, this, that, and the other. Really, the great crossbow is the only thing that sounds good right now because I am going to be shooting stuff from far away. So we'll go ahead and take the Aladrin's great crossbow. First thing we're going to do is slowly run over here. And I'm going to have the guild leader send an invite to this character so that I am able to get some, some favor, some renown for the guild. And probably send some plat this character's way as well so I can go buy some bolts and start shooting some stuff. So I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, <laughs> that was confusing. I uh, just got some goodies and stuff. I got a guild invite, as you can see. Uh, let's see, Generic B got me some things. I got a plus two wisdom helm that will help out with my spot skill. I uh, got a plus two intelligence ring, and that will help not only my damage later on, but it will also help out my uh, trap skills. I uh, got uh, an acid repeating heavy crossbow, so we can kind of ditch this thing, so let's go ahead and put that on. I uh, got some plat, 9,999 plat, and I also found this on the auction house for a pretty good deal. Uh, this was only 16,000 or something like that. Uh, this is one of the best looking, in my opinion, armors in the game. So that is pretty baller and rad and cool and sweet and whatever the kids say these days, so I will take that every day. Um, First thing I'm going to do is buy Quiver, buy some bolts, and then I'm going to start working on some things over in Corthos. So this first episode was just character creation and all that good stuff, but uh, in episode number two, I will be leveling up to a five, and I will give my... down in the description of that video, will show what I ran, when I ran it, blah, 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 blah. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, this is Dirty William in Dro Girl form with hot leather armor, reminding you to do the dirty work.